More concerning the mysterious drones over Colorado, well, now a military expert, an intelligence expert, claims that they are secret military aircraft. It certainly is a mystery that raises a lot of questions. After all this time, since the beginning of December, not one of these things has been brought down so that people could ascertain whose they are and why, what they're doing over these areas. They're up there every sunset and they're up until uh, dawn. They stay up at least for all these hours and we know that regular drones, drones cannot stay up all these hours. That's what one of the comments that my viewers left me. And that's a very good point. How is it that they can stay up so many hours? They are huge. They have a six foot wingspan. So they're not just plain drones that people buy to have very nice shots of what they want to take from, uh, from uh, the air down below. And uh, they're also flying in grid patterns. They've also been seen in other states, not just Colorado, also Nebraska. People are even saying that they have seen them over the East Coast. Uh, and uh, there are officials that say that they are not craft. They have not been given, no one has been uh, requesting or given permission to fly drones at night. And um, the FAA and the Air Force say that it's not theirs. And uh, it's still a mystery. Now, Paul Seaburn, Mysterious Universe claims, why has the task force set up to investigate the cause and or find the owners of the mysterious giant drones seen for weeks now flying in formation, in grid patterns that is, over Colorado, Nebraska, suddenly shut down. Why did they just stop all of a sudden? Saying it's not needed because it found nothing criminal. Well, I think it's criminal if you have things up there that shouldn't be up there. I think it's definitely something very strange that you have aerial phenomena up there that should not be up there, that need permits to be up there and yet don't have permits and they're up there for hours on end. Some of them have been supposedly looking into people's windows, into people's homes, and uh, there are officials that say, well, you know, what's the problem? Is it bothering you? It's not bothering anybody. It bothers me, personally, and I'm sure that it's a security, a national security issue. You've got something flying over the area from uh, dusk to dawn, and you don't know what it is, and you've cut, shut down the uh, task force that's supposedly set up to investigate this. Why has that happened? They're saying it's not needed. There's because it's not uh, found to do anything criminal. Well, it is doing criminal. And they say it could be because the owner is our own military testing secret futuristic aircraft. Aircraft that may be the same genre as those mysterious Tic Tac UFOs witnessed by the UNAV pilots we're talking about the USS Nimitz uh, that happened in 2004 now on the west coast off San Diego but it's not just the west coast that also happened something similar on the east coast and uh, it's not radar blips because the fact the fact is that pilots up there who were doing their training exercises had almost crashed with these things so they were not radar blips or temperature inversions quote unquote so they were actually seen, there were actual UFO encounters uh, with the uh, USS Nimitz pilots. Now, that's the theory proposed by a former military intelligence expert that there's something uh, similar to the Tic Tac UFOs. That's a theory by uh, this military intelligence expert and investigative reporter after he analyzed videos of these drones. So is he correct in all this? Is it uh, our own US military testing secret technology on its own people again or is it trying to stir up UFO talk to hide real advanced technology also again so uh, quote I'm guessing it's Navy related I've seen several videos that have gotten me into this I'm a debunker and I've never jumped on the UFO bandwagon because as I'm watching these videos I'm seeing some objects that look a lot like a tic-tac would be there's one where an aircraft is zooming by at a ridiculous speed. In an exclusive interview with Daily Star Online, Mike Turber appears to be the first expert to link the mysterious Colorado drones to the mysterious 
USS Nimitz Tic Tac UFOs, and Turber is a well-known investigative journalist. He's also a cybersecurity expert who served in the Air Force as an electronics operations specialist. Now, if his name sounds familiar, he was involved in the investigation of the 2017 uh, in Las, Las Vegas shooting. And more recently, he's been tooting the idea, along with a few other people, that the 2004 USS Nimitz Tic Tac UFO encounter are actually secret U.S. military aircraft. Thus, it may come as no surprise that he believes the Colorado drones are also military aircraft test and possibly Tic Tac airfare aircraft as well. He says, as far as I know, they very well could be these Tic Tacs, but I have no inside knowledge of what these are and cannot really confirm anything, end quote. So that's not exactly a rousing endorsement of his own claim. Few, if any, witnesses, witness accounts of the Colorado drones, including those of local law enforcement, stated anything unusual about their speed. So they didn't have an unusual speed. So they, obviously they, they're nowhere close to the uh, Nimitz Tic Tac UFO encounter. So uh, there was no unusual speed. And since all occurred at night, none seemed to have reported a Tic Tac shape just blinking lights in the sky. It's unfortunate Turber attracts skepticism with some of his other past claims, including that he himself has flown in an anti, uh, in, in a, sorry, gravity-defying tic-tac, and get ready to what else he says, so that President Trump, during his trip to North Korea, as a way of impressing Kim Jong-un. So that seems kind of far-fetched, but also, so does the blanket denial by the government task force set up to investigate these fleets of giant drones over Colorado flying in a grid formation and that they're doing anything criminal and shutting things down without even identifying who the owners are or locating their base or even the alleged vehicles uh, controlling these drones. So uh, what, I'm just flabbergasted, you know. Um, that leaves the sightings open to a wide array variety of conclusions and theories and the officials don't care they don't mind which draws even more skepticism how can you not care not mind are the colorado drones of the same technology as the tic tac ufos well i don't think so since they're not going that fast and until they're positively identified by someone anything is possible for me my opinion is that this is even more mysterious because of the facts that they suddenly shut down the investigation as to who is behind this and what they are and what they're doing. What do you think? Why did they shut down the investigation without knowing who is putting these things up every single night for all these hours? And what are they doing? Why are they doing what they're doing? They're shocking everybody. They're uh, basically putting people in fear. What do you think about this? If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.